Good morning, everybody. Well, we're gonna do some shredded potatoes and eggs on the grill. And uh, yeah, I got my uh, helper out here. What are you doing, helper? Helper dog. Priya, what you doing, baby dog? <laughs> you know, I cooked it so fast I couldn't even film it. It, it just, it, yeah. Okay, well, breakfast is ready. I'll try to show you my plate. Came out nice. Breakfast. Shocker, rain is in the forecast today. Oh yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> we had a couple nice days in a row. Eh, it works. <laughs> All right, breakfast was filling much more than I thought I made. Wow. Well, we had a, just like maybe a, a little over a third of a bag left of the shredded potatoes. And then we threw on what leftovers from last night with the peppers and potatoes. And of course, eggs and toast so didn't overdo the eggs though i only did two for each of us one for each dog two for terry and two for me uh, don't need any more food for probably until dinner time now because normally <clears throat> i'm not big on breakfast i actually struggled eating it so uh, i don't know what we're getting into today i did not look on unemployment yet this morning i wanted to be cheerful on the walk because <laughs> I'm just waiting at this point for them to it be a denial and then we have to fight it. So appeal it. That's the word appeal. So anywho. Yeah, we'll see. If the hospital calls me back. I mean I, I feel like they, they seemed really eager. Um both both of the sections I went to. <clears throat> The one girl that was helping guide you to what table to go to, she asked me about the EMT. I'm sitting there going, I think that's a little bit too much for me. Um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> if I was driving an ambulance, I'd probably be okay, but you have to be trained par paramedic to do that even. And then it flashed back to one of my uh, high school teachers was EMT ambulance. And he said the hardest thing was you get desensitized to seeing people that have been killed in an automobile accident or whatnot, but when it's someone that either they knew or it was friends of their kids and that happened more than once to them, he goes, that's when it slams you. So, yeah, I think I'm good on that. I just will stick to pushing food around maybe. <laughs> that's the one, honestly, I think I'm more interested in. Um, so, but there's gonna be a lot to learn. I'll be the first to admit, I don't know what foods are gluten-free, and you have to know a lot of dietary things to uh, to do that job, so you know when you read the person's chart what they're allowed to have. Like if they're on a liquid gluten-free diet, you have to know what they can, you know, what you can offer them, so without, uh, you know, making things worse for them, so it's my only, it's like every other thing, you got, you got, there's going to be starting from zero got to learn all new traits and uh yeah it'll be uh like terry said though the nice thing about working at the hospitals you'll never touch money <laughs> yay yeah kids had their grilled breakfast was it delicious priya and they wanted ours too because they're never satisfied with just getting what they get they think what we have is different and they want it too so right little bugger hmm right you don't know. You just got a little walnut for a brain. <laughs> I'm not sure what you got there, kid. <laughs> no. Hey, they're dogs. They know certain things. They know food. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I've been having, a, I feel like, some slowdown um, on the Mac. Uh, trying to figure out how to fix it. And last night I found a couple videos and I did run some scans. Because going through this whole job search thing, I feel like I might have gotten to some uh, <clears throat> potentially dangerous sites accidentally. Computer does stop you for the most part, both Chrome and Safari, both to say do not go to this site. Um, but I did run a whole bunch of scans. I ran first aids on all of the things. I deleted the cache, which I think is what really helped because that had never been touched since I've had that computer since. 2019 I don't think I've ever reset the 16 inch I know the other ones I've actually reset them and 
got to spin free because my legs are getting burned off by the damn leash. Come on. So, I don't know. It seemed like it was faster. Final Cut's where my problem lies, but I partially think it's the CWV logo because it's integrated into the vlog. So, it can't, like, if someone were to download it, it's going to be there anyway. <clears throat> um, doesn't mean they won't just blur it out. But who's going to steal my stuff? I'm sure someone has. And I, I mean, for the most part, I don't care. Uh, so we'll see. And I, I did turn... Mike and I are fighting about rendering. According to what I'm reading online, a video has to render for it to export. And Final Cut does it differently than iMovie does. And Mike's having a lot of problems. And he's also... He, he, He's having problems with Final Cut in the fact that when he goes to export, he always gets an error and it changes every time. I did find a gentleman that has the same issue with a MacBook Pro, not a MacBook Air, that is not, it, it, it just errors out. It's over, it's using too much memory at some point. I don't know if it's an M3 issue, but some other people were commenting that the M1 and the M2, both of them were giving them the same type of issue. We can't go over there, Priya. Uh, so, I don't know, it's this technical stuff, but don't, no one really seems to have a, an answer for it. Nope, we can't go over there, they're open. Damn dog. Come on, Pri. Come on. <laughs> Sick of a dad. I want to go see the vet. <laughs> <clears throat> so. But I, I, I honestly, because I mean, I was, I was looking, I'm sitting there going, uh, should I just trade this in and, and down the road, you know, upgrade to a, a decked out? Doesn't sound like it. Doesn't sound like it. Sounds like they're pretty, you know, the ones that work are fast. I think this will help mine speed up. But the difference is, I mean, when I'm doing the videos, there is minor color corrections. And it's more along, I bump up saturation just a little bit. And I bring down the low, the mids and the highlights, shadows. I one of them. One of the, I, I bring down two of them and bring up the, the just to kind of take make it a little more natural. And I did change to a 60 frame, 60 FPS timeline, thinking that that would help because everything's being shot in 60 frames per second now. And uh, I don't know. So background rendering on, background rendering off, then I gotta go do it myself anyway. So, leaving it alone. Just leave background render on. Did change it to proxy, but I think, because I don't have the original file in the timeline of the 10-year logo, I think that's gonna disappear after today. I don't know where I'm gonna put CWV portion. I'll probably just have to have it tagged onto the, maybe I'll just hook it to the, the date and stuff and go from there. Alrighty, let's try this again. <laughs> uh, Mike didn't connect right away, and then it wouldn't start, stop, whatever it wanted to do. But uh, we've had some rain, as you can, you know, if I look down, you'll be able to see the wet ground. So it's been kind of a indoor day. Terry and I watched Argyle lunchtime, and it's now like going for four o'clock. <sighs> I did get a call for the hospitality, which is basically cleaning rooms and whatnot i have not called them back yet i was hoping the other one would call me today as well but i think i'm gonna have to call them back and uh, at least accept an interview uh, so i really prefer i think the food host myself but you know i even really i can't turn things away so we'll see when we get back from our walk i'll probably give them a ring and schedule an interview hopefully tomorrow maybe the other one calls me Maybe we can schedule the same day. That was kind of my hope, is to go and just do both interviews, bang, bang, and uh, go from there. We shall see. I hear you, Mr. Cardinal, but you're hiding. Oh, there you are. Oh, he's up in the one little pine tree here. And there he goes. As per usual, the kids are back there, you know, moping behind me. Priya was an absolute sack of potatoes to get up and put her harness on and pick her up by her harness after I managed to sneak it underneath her. So, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I have no clue what we're doing for dinner. Did breakfast on the grill this morning, and she made salads for lunch, which were huge. 
and honestly I could probably go another four hours without eating a meal so I don't know maybe, maybe we'll just snack tonight we have that veggie tray I got with dip I got, you know what I might say that to her we don't it, unless she wants to cook something I'm not hungry it's gonna be probably seven o'clock eight o'clock at night until I'm hungry again that was way more norm than I normally ever eat I honestly had a hard time eating my salad and I love salad but it's full enough of me talking let's see what the puppies are doing here and mr. tingles and miss sniff the air should be really mad that we can't go by the vet yet it's still too early yo done there buddy hmm yo done there okay oh yes all right oh birds gosh you are so loud yeah it's not been a it has been an awful day I was taking some measurements on the patio to try to get a general idea to build my canopy over the back patio out of PVC. Started doing some pricing at Lowe's and just, I don't even know that three quarter inch is going to be heavy enough, but I need probably 25 10 foot sections um, from what I counted up. It's about a the, with the savings that they give you, it's like a $31 savings. It's like $125 just in the 10 foot sections. That's not counting all the different angles I need yet. So I don't know. I was looking on online to see if there's any 20 by 12 or 20 by 20 canopies and they get really salty, but I'm going to probably have myself sunk. Well, that's just, the, that's just that. I did find a 20 by 20 tar um, tarp. That was $56 on Amazon. And then the four inch um, bungee, bungee balls, that's what they call them, um, to wrap through. Mm, I forget how much that was. I think the one came with 30, another one, it, you gotta be careful. But I think four inches, if I went with three quarter, I think four inches is probably plenty long enough, if not too long that and I'm not sure because it's actually like 20 by 18 but I want a little bit of overhang but I don't know how that would work oh my goodness they cut the grass over here today yay finally that was getting pretty tall now I know our mowing team came through but I'm not sure that they're contracted the same people they did it differently they did it like on an angle it's pretty wide tracks too and right here's why I stopped recording because this one here is being an absolute anchor Yeah, so back to the canopy. Uh, I don't know. So you figure just just in the tarp and the PVC, we're already looking around $180. I mean, granted, I don't have to make it that big, but I want to cover the whole patio if I can. And I want it to be high enough that it's above the door so you don't have to worry about getting in and out. So there's things to consider. And Priya's trying to get to the vet. Trying to go to the vet, baby girl. Come on, we're not going over there. I know it's been a hot minute since I walked them over there, which probably was not the smartest thing to do. I know they want to go over there, but they really don't need to be. It's kind of like this guy over here, you know, especially when they're open. Absolutely not for the vet because there's other animals there and they're not going for care. So one of the things I'm trying to figure out is if I put a 45 degree angle to let rain run off, how in if I went 12 feet how much would it drop so I have an 8 foot 7 inch underneath the little overhang off the back porch um, if I put a 45 degree angle in and it went 12 feet how short is that post going to be because I wouldn't I'd be okay I think losing like 1 foot 7 inches that would bring it down to about seven feet. But trying to find a calculator to do that, uh, yeah, not happening. <laughs> I'm trying to find how much I lose on a 45 degree angle per foot. That's probably what I need to learn. That's what I need to ask Google. 45 degree angle, how much do you, how much, you know, height do you lose per foot? I'll try that. I see you guys help me. You talk me right through it. Thanks.